It's been a while since I made a video. I thought I'd uh, show you a few highlights of last year. Mainly kind of got over in making some of the birdie points. Smaller points, uh, smaller arrowheads, and mainly making them just out of flakes. Leftover flakes from making larger points. And they're just as much fun to me uh, as making uh, large uh, projectile points, knives, uh, spearheads, and so forth. But I thought I'd show you... A, a few of the points that I've made and then I've got a few uh, larger points I'll show you those too but here's my little napping area but you can see I've got uh, a lot of leftover stuff on the floor down there but a lot of times in you most snappers and you get a few decent flakes you just pick them up and kind of hold those to the side and you can end up uh, making some nice arrowheads just on some of this leftover stuff but I got some there, and then I threw some in the cooker the other day, some pieces, and and work these over. And there's a lot of a lot of good uh, pieces in here that have got a good arrowhead in them. Piece of alabates, but uh, but anyway, here's some of the some of the small points. Here's some of the Texas material, and. Let me get a hold of one of these to kind of show you the size of that. But that's a pretty, pretty small point. I don't know if I'm going to get that to focus. I better back him up a little bit. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, it's not going to work. But anyway, kind of gives you an idea of the, the size of some of these little small points. Uh, got a little star point here kind of interesting sometimes you make you start working on one and it'll have a weak spot or a, a crack in it and you you want to work the crack out and you end up with a different point than what you start with uh, got a little toya toya point those are pretty neat but a lot of these are they're just just real small thumbnail uh, type points there's a little a little larger point but that's some of that Texas root beer material. Uh, here's a little larger star point. That was another one that had a crack in the in the base, and I kept working it in to get rid of the crack, and it it turned into a star point. There's a piece of alabates. There's some keokuk, another piece of alabates. Here's my smallest fulsome point. You can kind of see through it. Anyway, then I've got uh, got some more out of uh, uh, Peoria, some more Texas. Uh, there's a this, uh, piece out of glass, just leftover bottle in the dump. I was practicing, see if I couldn't make a point out of it. There's some more obsidian. This is a decent, decent point. Turned out pretty nice. Of course, that's a little larger than a birdie. It's still a nice, nice point. Here's a few, uh, didn't have a lot of nevaculite points in here, but here's definitely a little birdie nevaculite. Not a pink, pink nevaculite. A lot of times you can tell these uh, will work from a flake. I get this turned at the right angle. You can see because one side will be almost fl flat sometimes. You get a little bit curvature on the side. But you can see this side's flat, and then you go to this side, and it's worked all the way across. But you can tell that uh, even the ones that you find that, that are going to be like that, you can tell they were just worked from a point. Uh, another piece of Nevaculite, another piece of the pink Nevaculite. It just turns pink sometimes when you when you heat treat it. That was a piece of heat treated. Here's some gray. Work this piece raw. So sometimes when it's raw it's a little little harder to work. Uh, another piece of the Texas. and got a few pieces of uh, more pieces of alabates. We got some Tacovis Jasper small points. But those are my little birdies and they're neat, neat points. I kinda like the small points. Got a few little larger points, 
Of course, this one is uh, just made out of bone. I'm trying to see how big of a point I could make out of bone. That's a technically a star point too, but it's it's pretty good size. That's a piece of Texas, and another piece of uh, Texas. You get a nice and thin point. We got a few pieces of uh, obsidian. That's always fun to work. But of course, got some larger, larger pieces of obsidian. Kind of worked this, worked this one, fluted it, uh, turned it into a fulsome point. Not that you're gonna have a lot of fulsomes made out of obsidian, but it was kind of fun to work. But uh, here's some of the black nebaculite that been trying to find this over in Arkansas for quite a while. We can find the lighter stuff, the gray material, white material. Uh, get loads of it, but this last time when I was over visiting, we finally stumbled across to some of the black stuff. We'll look at this. I'll show you what I've got left over here in the back. But basically, just grabbed a few buckets for the last time I was. Uh, over there, but you can see what it, what it looks like. It's just kind of a chalky, uh, really, really rough working it. I haven't heat treated any of this. I've just I've worked it raw. Uh, maybe heat treating it will make it work better. But it's it's kind of a chalky. But I mean, you got to smack it good to get a flake to come off. It'll want to hinge on you uh, big time. But anyway, just to show you a few a few points that. Uh, made out of that uh, Some of these are going to be just like that piece so they're just total black but Just really really neat material to uh, to work with Didn't, didn't finish this one I was gonna I was kind of hated to lose a little piece of white down in the corner if I notch it I'm gonna lose that so I just kind of left it like that. I'll end up doing something with it eventually A little piece of black and then uh, you notice in that cart that not all of that material not that one this one not all of it is totally black some of it has some white mixed in it and you can see this one is uh, let me turn it over I take this and I take two of them with me because two of them are the same take it out here where the Sun can hit it a little bit part of my bumping Hopefully that's coming out halfway. But you can see the colors. It's, it's got like a veins in it. That at one time it was all cracked as black tobaculite at the base. And you can see it's just it's just black. And this is kind of where it, uh, the white tobaculite made it together with the with the the white. And then it got all these freeze cracks in it. And then it resolidified. So I mean, even though it's showing cracks, those are all that's solid tobaculite. So. Uh, it worked out pretty good. That was one piece. Let me lay that one down. And then here's the the second piece. It's kind of translucent. It's in that same vein where uh, the black was. But this is also uh, get a hold of it right. When the light hits it, I mean, it just looks kind of like dirty ice, where you've got cracks and stuff in 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 ice. But uh, just a beautiful point when you hold it up to the sun. Just neat, neat looking material. But anyway, I've still got a few. Hopefully, there's a few points in there. Not all that's going to turn into road gravel. But uh, that's uh, that's some of the points that uh, I've worked this this past year. So I'll put a. I'll put a few uh, pictures of some of this black nebaculite and the translucent nebaculite uh, at the end just to let you see what it looks like when the, when the sun hits them. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching.